Hi everyone, welcome to Smart Math Online Tutor. Through this video, I am going to tell you about mass. First of all, let us recall the units used to measure mass. Milligram is one of the smallest units we use to measure mass. Then we use grams, kilograms and in grade 8, you are going to learn a new unit that is metric tons. Within brackets, I have mentioned the symbols of each unit. Now let us see the relationship between kilograms and metric tons. Remember, one ton is equal to 1000 kilograms. This is a very simple relationship and this is the only main theory part you have in this lesson. So, if you need to convert tons to kilograms or kilograms to tons, let us see what we should do. If you need to convert kilograms to tons, you have to divide by 1000. Whereas, if you need to convert tons to kilograms, you must multiply the value by 1000. So, it is very simple. This is all about multiplication and division. Now, let us do an activity. Fill in the blanks below with respect to the relationship between kilograms and metric tons. So, here is the first relationship, uh, the first blank. 2350 kilograms is equal to how many tons? So, in order to convert kilograms to tons, we have to divide it by 1000. So, you know, if you divide this value by 1000, you will get a decimal answer and that is 2.35. The zero at the end can be written or even if you neglect it, no problem, the value does not change. Let's go to the next example. The same value we are going to write in tons and kilograms. Now, in 2350 kilograms, you know there are 2000 kilograms, which says there are 2 tons. The remaining part we write in the kilogram section. And then moving on to another question 3 tons and 5 kilograms we are going to write in kilograms. 3 tons is 3000 kilograms. 3000 kilograms plus the 5 kilograms is 3005 kilograms and then 3 tons and 5 kilograms if you are requested to write in tons it will be like this because 5 kilograms is equal to 0 0.005 tons. Look at this example 1.4 tons to be written in kilograms so Tons to kilograms, you have to multiply by 1000. 1 1.4, if you multiply by 1000, your answer will be 1400 kilograms. And here we go to the final example. 1.4 tons in tons and kilograms. Now, here, 1.4 tons has 1 ton. And this 0.4 tons is equal to 400 kilograms because 0.4 multiplied by 1000 is equal to 400. So, this is how we work out questions related to the relationship between kilograms and metric tons. And then let us see how to add masses in metric tons and kilograms. Look at this example. A lorry of mass 5 tons and 245 kilograms is loaded with 2 tons and 950 kilograms of rice. The total mass of the lorry must be found. So, let me write down tons and kilograms like this and then let's write down the two masses like this. Now, we are going to add this remember this is very simple addition normal method of addition all what you have to remember is the value that lies in this part can be less than 999 if it is 1000 kilograms you should take it to the tons column as one ton so this is very simple addition there is nothing much to understand you can have only 999 kilograms in the kilogram column. That's all. And moving on to a subtraction question. A container loaded with 
sugar weighs 7 tons and 655 kilograms. When it is unloaded, the mass of the container was 4 tons and 855 kilograms. Now we have to find the mass of sugar. With sugar, it is 7 tons and 655 kilograms. Without sugar, it is 4 tons and 855 kilograms. So to find the load of the sugar, we have to subtract 4 tons and 855 kilograms from the total load. So here I write like before. And now you can see here 655 and 855 are there in the kilograms side. You know it cannot be subtracted like this. Therefore, we must take one ton from the other side like that. So it becomes 1655 kilograms in that side and meanwhile you should remember here now it is only 6 tons right now let's do the normal subtraction then you will get the answer as 2 tons and 800 kilograms so this is the mass of the sugar moving on to another question that is related to multiplication the approximate mass of a three wheel is 1 ton and 245 kilograms find the total mass of six such three wheels so here what we have to do is we have to multiply the mass of one three wheel by six so let us do that even here you have to remember in the kilograms column you can have maximum 999 kilograms so when you do the multiplication it is the normal method 7 tons and 470 kilograms is the total mass of 6 such 3 wheels. Moving on to a question based on division of masses. A mass of 20 tons and 800 kilograms of paddy in a storehouse is loaded equally into 8 lorries. So find the mass of paddy in each lorry. So the question is simple. You have to divide 20 tons and 800 kilograms into 8 lorries. So, this is division. Remember, division of mass can be done in two methods. So, I will tell you both the methods. You can follow any method which is easy to you. The first method is we write the tons and kilograms separately like this and we divide by 8. You know, in 20, you have 2 8, 18 to 2 is 16. When you subtract, you get 4 remaining. This remaining 4 we take to the kilogram side as 4000. Now in the kilogram side because we do this because in 4 tons you have 4000 kilograms. Now we take the sum of the kilograms in that side it is 4800. Now we divide the normal division again. We continue. In 4800 you have 608. So here we conclude the division this is one method and the other method is we convert the mass of the paddy into kilograms so it will become 20,800 kilograms and we do normal division right so we convert it and do the division now when you do it's uh, eight it will be like this. 4 remaining, 48. Then in 48 you have 48. Right, now here you get the answer as 2600 kilograms. So that if you write in tons and kilograms, it will be the same answer as you got before. The paddy in one lorry is 2 tons and 600 kilograms. So that marks the end of this session. Hope I made myself clear about the relationship between tons and kilograms and also to do calculations related on tons and kilograms. See you with another smart math kit. Until then, goodbye.